Hello, what's up, guys? What's up, guys? Thursday afternoon, and uh, we have something to fix, okay? We have this job which is coming from another computer shop. Like 98% of the jobs which I'm fixing here, they are coming from another repair shop. Someone already tried to do something. So, this is the kind of job. It's coming from another computer shop, and um, they, they give me the board for spare that the board and uh, that the power pack 12 volts 2 amps it's connex connex swift book swift book pro 14.1 inch draw core and it's booked in as no power Okay. No turning on, no charging. It's just doing nothing. So let's plug in the charger and we'll start checking some things. Charger plugged. Is our charger good? That's the first step. My probe is too big. Let me use a tweezer. To get inside. And then plus and minus. 12 volts. You can see on the screen. So. Our charger is good. The next step. Is to plug in the charger. Charger plugged. We must have some light here, it's like charging light. No charging light. If you try to power it on, here the switch button is on the keyboard. On, no light, nothing, just dead. So Let's see if we can fix this. Let's check out the screws. Let's see if we can fix this Connex Swift Book Pro. I like this guy, he's smart. Because it gives us another board for spare. So, we have to make sure that we fix this. We have to make sure. Let me use a manual school drive. The electronic one is not working properly because all these corners of these screws are missing. So let's check out this cover for that drive. And the HDD drive is missing. Okay. But if I do remember, let me check the connects how they are working, especially this. They have a onboard storage plus this, this is the secondary option to increase the storage. But I'm sure I must have a onboard storage. Yeah, you can see. Maybe you can't see here. 64 gig storage. This is the one board storage. Everything is soldered on the board. The RAM. Storage. 
chipset everything I have one more screw here so what can be fault here do you have a force and bios everything is insulated i can't even see components from the board okay so yeah let's take all this insulation you have the battery you have the charging port let's check if the charging port is driving 12 volts into the motherboard like 2 volts 2.3 you can see on the screen why i checked this charger there was 12 volts so what's going on here 12 volts plug in the the charger we have like two volts so why there's a voltage drop either we have a fault charging port but this looks solid okay let's do some basics let's unplug the battery Let's unplug the battery. Let's try to reset the board power on. Maybe we have a frozen BIOS. But I'm curious why my 12 volts is not passing through the charging port. Let's check the battery voltage. Plus and minus. I can't see any voltage. Okay. Let's check out the heat sink. We we'll need to see things. In order to fix it properly, we have to, to get access to the components. Do you have a shorted, shorted 12 volts power rail? What do you think is the problem? Now we can see the board. Now looks better. Diet mode. No, let's unplug the battery. My question is why my 12 volts is not passing through this port. We don't have a short to ground. You can see on the screen, I'm checking on the plus pin just on the charging port with the multimeter. It's not like zero zero. Again, plug the charger. Volts. Same thing. Two point something volts. Okay. My DC power supply is set on ten volts. 3.2 let's lower the current you know i don't trust the test meter 
I don't trust test meter. So we have to use power supply so that we see what's going on. How much current is being taken by this board? From there we can conclude a lot of things. That's connected. Let's go on the plus. You see? There's voltage drop to 4.77 and it's taking how much current limit did I set here? 2.1 amps. And it's taking max current 2.1. You see on the screen? So at this juncture, we are 100% sure that we have shorted many 12 volts power rail. Okay? Somewhere, somehow, the 12 volts power line is shorted to ground. Because I set my, you can see here on the power supply, it's 10, around 10 volts, 2.1 amps max current. And if you go on the plus, before the MOSFETs, you see, we have a short there. Hopefully, it's not the processor or the our IT chip. So, what is shorted here? What? The first MOSFET is getting hot. The first MOSFET is getting hot. That means the short is after the the MOSFETs. Okay. So diode, where our power is going through this inductor. Is not ground on the output. Let's see. If I come with the with the power on the charging port. The first MOSFET is getting very hot. That means we have a, a short after. So what I will do, I will jump the first MOSFET and come with the power on the second MOSFET. What is getting hot here? Taking 2.1. Now we have voltage drop to 2 volts. Something this area is getting warm. I think we have to go under microscope so that we see it clearly. Let's see now. So I took the board out. So here, that the charging port, that the plus of the charging port here. I can see the charging board looks solid. After that, we have this big power rail, which is coming to this resistor, whatever you call it. And we have our first MOSFET. That's the first MOSFET. That's an N channel MOSFET. It's going to this second MOSFET. And after that, you can see this big power rail. So what I want to do, I want to come with some amps after the second, after the second MOSFET. I think we can do that. Just to see what is taking current. So, if I come here, so 
So what is getting what here? Yeah, 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 yeah. I just bend my finger. Let me show you what is getting hot. Let me show you. You have to see this. You have to see what is getting hot. Which area is that? We have so many capacitors here. Let's use alcohol as usual and see what is getting what here. What is getting what here? On those capacitors, something is not right there. Check. The capacitor is boiling. Let's raise the current. What I want you to see. Let's go to 3 amps. Nothing can go wrong with 3 amps. So again. Check that capacitor. It's boiling. This one. One more time. Check. Our capacitor is boiling. Let's check for that those capacitors for short. Short. This one is boiling. You see this one? So, I'll try to remove that capacitor. I'll try to remove that capacitor. So what I did, you just see a, a boiling ceramic capacitor on the 12 volts power line, which was shorted to ground, and that the capacitor here, that the capacitor, maybe you can see the capacitor. So checking for short again on same spot here. And there's no more shot again. Check on the capacitor. You see? Zero, zero. So our, our capacitor is shorted. So we have this board for space. Let's just grab one here and replace the capacitor quickly. Quickly. Obvious, I will take one from the power supply on the 12 volts power line.
hopefully that the problem we are saved the customer gave us another board for spare Fantastic, our, our capacitor is now in place. So these boards, the boards looks alike. And you, this one is the one for space. And I don't know how this board died, but you can check. On the BIOS chip. Obvious has got shorted to only 3.3 power supply, so it's most likely the PCH is gone on this one. So, let's come with the power supply on same point on the charging port before the two MOSFETs. You can see now, it's now it's taking 1716 mediums which i believe is normal so all what we need is to put back the body in the test that's all what we have to do here that's all what we have to do let's put all the connections together in the test so you know that the reason why you should buy a power supply because checking with the multimeter there's no short but coming with the power supply the main 12 volts power, power, power line is shorted so now you see why you should buy a power supply power supplies are cheap very days these days i think you can get them around the starting from 50 40 50 years you can get one Yeah, so many connectors here. So just be patient. Just be patient. So that we we'll test together to see if this laptop is now working. Let's put some screws. Let's put some screws to hold the motherboard. Hopefully we don't have many faults here. Hopefully. That's good. So the next step is to plug in the charger. <laughs> And you now have charging light, you see? Check here. Let's unplug the charger. No light. Plug in the charger. We now have light. So, let's try to power on the laptop. So, I can see the light here. Power on light.
connects you see it's working so that was just a shorted capacitor it's working you can see the when it's not in windows so you see so what you, what do you do at this stage if you don't have a power supply you check with the test meter there's no short shorted component you start checking com components one by one and it's not in windows fine i can't believe the keyboard is working the touchpad is working obviously there's user password there's customer user password there so i will say this job is done i'm happy so what i will do yeah it's charging let me try to take out the charger yeah the battery is still holding the charge you see you can unplug here it's still holding the charge so what i would do there's no reason to keep you on this video i'll put all the screws i'll put the heat sink i'll put them out paste and this job is done so like subscribe don't forget to turn on the notification bell at least you see the diagnosis the diagnosis process how we are finding the faults that's very important the fixing part even if you skip the the watching that that's not that's not a big issue but you have to know from the time you open the device i open the device up to the 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 time that i will find where i will find the fault how i am checking that's the most important part so i'll consider this job as is fixed so um, i'll stop this video like sub like subscribe don't forget to turn on the notification bell see you on the next game bye